Alistair Cavanagh and Gavin Lawrence were frustrated at having punctured again. And although a win was out of the question, they still needed to drive hard to remain on the podium. They matched Duncan's time on stage 6, and with Chagger out, had a big enough cushion to retain second. Hardy Parisian Ravi Sonny slipped into third, but with the car crabbing, they obviously had a major problem that was going to be more than a roadside repair. And sure enough, they came to a stop to become the eighth car out of the event. With third place now up for grabs, it was all changed on the leaderboard. And the race became even more brisk, with all the crews suddenly finding a burst of speed not seen before. Tajvir Rai and Bharat Patni continued to show their potential, putting in a strong, solid performance. They ignored the pressure that was building behind and cruised through the stages to claim the third spot, but it was all very close. As anticipated, Jaswinder and Rabbit Chana increased their pace, getting what they could out of the Celica. And with the stakes so high, taking risks became part of the package. They moved three places up the leaderboard to fourth and were now less than a minute off gaining third. Whilst Jagjit Pata and Vinay Shah are regular contenders, they have never featured amongst the leaders. And despite this brief wrong slot, they were climbing through the ranks. Given the opportunity of a top placing, they were proven to be extremely competitive and were lying fifth. Jasmine de Barige and Ben Spinks rarely get the opportunity to display their talent due to mechanical breakdowns with the Evo 6. Except for a puncture, it was all going well, and if they maintained their pace, were on track to claim sixth overall. Today is a matter of pace and being wily rather than being flat out. And as you say, I'm trying to get a good finish rather than just uh, going flat out and, uh, you know, stopping by the side of the road. Sandip Jandu and Gurdip Mahangra had been caught in a sudden and brief thunderstorm. And at a Y fork, the car slid straight into the sugarcane, where they got stuck for five minutes. After such a strong start to the rally, it was frustrating, but seventh was still a respectable position. With one stage remaining, Ian Duncan was in command, now seven minutes ahead of Alistair Kavanagh, who was safe in second. With only 20 competitive kilometers to the end, positions were unlikely to change. Following the nullification of their rally in the previous event, the two-wheel drive contenders had had their entry fee waived as a small measure of compensation. Eight cars had entered to continue the race for the championship title, relieved that the route was dry, giving them a chance to get some stage miles under their belt. Taking full advantage of their two-liter engine, were Nias Bashir and Jonathan Koske, who took the early lead at the wheel of a Toyota Celica. They were a minute out in front, but the hard going was too much for the engine, which blew and they were out on stage three. The championship leaders, James Karimi and Kibeli Career, took over the lead and set about extending their leading margin on the remaining stages. Their itinerary included four of the seven stages, and the 90 kilometers was a long event for them. It was a balance between knowing when to be cautious to save the car against the need to record good times. Simon Yori and Julius Machua, in one of the four Levines entered, were running third overall when the back end totally collapsed, and they were out on stage three. The diff is completely dis dis uh, membered from the car, and even uh, the rear shocks are out completely. Eventually, after hit, hitting this ditch, we, we broke uh, the propeller. The propeller is in two pieces, and uh, the car could not move on. Out on the same stage were the two girls, Joan Nesbitt and Tamara Jones, who took a jump too fast, breaking the suspension on the landing. Imran and Mohamed Khanna managed to find the deepest part across this stream, immediately ingesting water. It is only a temporary setback and were soon on their way having lost three minutes. Later into the rally, they took a jump too fast, bending a steering arm and were fortunate to make it to the end to claim fifth. 
Joel Mushiri and Riyadh Ishmael nearly got stuck in the stream. They were desperate to win for the points towards realizing their goal of the championship title. Their biggest problem was being first on the road, losing time when they caught the back markers in the main event and had to accept fourth. All hopes of winning the championship were put on hold. It's not lucky to be kind of one on road. It's better if you start second, third, it's better because there you always have a, have a gap of 10 minutes plus another gap of six minutes. So 16 minutes, it's, it's hard for you to meet up with a, with a front car. Which is, which is... Patrick Kibara and James Mwangi were only too aware that if they were to get a result, the balancing theory would have to go. They threw caution to the wind and just hung on over the rough. But after puncturing, the best they could do was third. First stage I thought the car was running well, but the puncher put us off. But uh, that was just a temporary setback. After frustrations in Eldoret and uh, a lot of mud in Eldoret Maravine, this has been a good rally. The top two places were taken by VWs, who were both quicker up the hill climb, with Dennis Mwenda and Edward Deroge taking the stage win. They were quick enough on all the other stages to stay ahead of the Levines, and they narrowly took second by less than a minute. 